Base Arena. What's up, my beer? But anyways, man, I just wrapped it up at the Claire store. Um, let me, let me fix my face real quick. I'm gonna walk in Levi's real quick, then I'm gonna take my talents to the outlet down the street, the on International Drive, Premium Plaza, and see what's, and see what's popping in there, all right? So, uh, follow me. What's popping, homies? This is your boyfriend, Nitty, back in the building. Back in the car at a Nike outlet, just left the clearance store, so we pull up to the International Drive outlet, the one in the Premium Plaza. That's what, I, that's what I'm known to do. That's what I do do. I don't know why I said that. That's where we at, and that's what we about to shoot. We about going to shoot a Nike outlet vlog. When I do the clearance store, I always follow it up with this store. Now, I am behind and dropping videos because I shoot two or three videos a day. By the time I get them posted, it's already two or three days later. So what I'm thinking about doing is post the clearance store and this store the same day. It will be two separate videos, so that way I don't be long in the tooth with these videos, man, because I am backed up. I'm not a whole week out, but I'm close to it, like five or six days you know, behind. I want the videos to be more current, you know what I mean, most recently. So if I shoot today, I want to post it that same day if it's all possible, man. But anyways, just wanna throw that out there. If you guys wanna see two videos in one day, let me know. Or maybe I could do like Nike and Adidas. I could drop two videos in one day, man. So comment down below, let me know what's feasible for y'all. Let me know what y'all are willing to tolerate for uh, uploads. Are y'all subject to um, one video a day? That's, that's all y'all can tolerate? Or y'all don't mind having two videos a day? Uh, different outlets, man. So let me know. Comment down below. Chime in. Leave your comments, your thoughts. I would love to hear them. Anyways, I'm rambling too much. This intro is way too long. A lot of you guys say, get to the action. Let's talk in more action. All right. Peace. Yo, deja vu. Same outlet, same car, same parking spot. He or she must work here. Nice Tesla, though. Finally made it. Again, that's why I like this Nike outlet, man. It's warm welcome, man. They got the doors wide open for you. And voila, ACG gear is 50% off, y'all. These are the pants, $129. It's that uh, Hunter Green with the vault right in ACG. Designed in the USA. Oversized pants, if y'all know anything about ACG, it's very oversized, man. You gotta get like a small or extra small just to just so you can fit it, if you're my size, $99 for this jacket. So roughly it would be $50, not bad. And um, here's the sweaters on the back wall. They got a lot of spring wear here, man. Like this green jacket, this one's hitting for 80. It's also this nylon pants hitting 400. No additional discounts. You got some tech fleece gear. You got the royal blue jacket and you got the all black jacket. Next to them is a Nike basketball shorts. These shorts is a lot better than the other cotton shorts cut off jargon shorts shorts as i call them um, a little bit mesh at the helm of the shorts it's just a lot better material uh so it's gonna be less prone to shrink that's uh, just my opinion oh they also got another green tech fleece jacket with the hoodie that's dope probably hitting for a crazy amount though these joints are not cheap oh sh sh this is 40 dollars this is $40, man. But the ones on top is 90 though, <laughs> for the black one. Let's see what the blue one retails for. I can't get the tag out. I ain't about that life. I ain't gonna worry about it. All right, man. <laughs> so the blue one is $70. I had to come back and check, man. I was curious. More jackets with 40% off. This is $39. No pockets on the side, though. No hoodie, but it's a dry fit jacket. I like my Nike dry fits, man. It's the only thing I would play ball in. Only sweaters I would rock. So you got the basketball shorts. Uh, what they're hitting for? Forty dollars? No, I can't be. Thirty-four dollars. There you go. That makes more sense. Uh, now you got the Nike dry fit with the hoodie or the thermal. Not the a dry fit. Nike on the chest, and then you got another sweater with the swoosh on the chest. At least, but these are thermal. These are hitting for forty. Uh, additional 40% off, so that's not bad. So roughly around $25, $23, you get that. Got some shorts uh, for 40, and uh, let's let's walk over to the shoes now. All right, here we are in the Jordan section, man. These are going for 104. I think this was here last time I was here, if I'm not mistaken. Multiple sizes, full size run on those. And then you got these uh, Air Max 720s. Yeah, going for 80. 
And then you got the patent leather shoe of the week and other outlets. <laughs> wow, that's going for 80. No additional discounts. USA colorway joints. It's also going for 80. Multiple sizes in both shoes. Here's one of my favorite shoe. My basketball shoe of the year last year, 2019. That's going for $80. There goes the common parts. This is going for 90 as well. And that's going for 70. Uh, I remember originally seeing these shoes in like Foot Action Foot Locker. Um, there was exclusive to them, so I guess Nike bought them back. And, and you could tell because look at the sticker. I'm not sure which one's Foot Locker, which one's Foot Action. Um, but here you go, man. If y'all care to purchase these Air Force Max uh, basketball shoes. And the rest is kind of generic. I don't know any of these other shoes. I'm not sure how, how well they will hoop. But uh, these Alpha Dunks, been here for a good minute. Uh, these are going for 90, multiple sizes in those. More Alpha Dunks for 90, multiple sizes. I'm not seeing much new since the last time I've been here, which is probably over a week. You got the Vince cards for 119, multiple sizes in those. Those are the purple, gray, and black joints with the green boxes. And then I think this is the better colorway of the two. Well, that's City and, and White colorway. Well, that's hitting for 160. So multiple sizes in that too as well. And what is these? The Ritz, 109 for those. Black and White colorway for that, 109. What is this? The Fly Trap 2s this is the Kyrie, 64 for it. And then LeBron's, which I'm not a fan of. These are the Witness. They're going for 80. Sorry if it's so dark. Let me brighten up. So $8 for that shoe, man. Not a fan. Multiple sizes. You can see these in outlets for a good minute. The price has got to be significantly cheaper for people to start buying it because I don't know why they're still here if they're a popular shoe. It's not a signature shoe, so that's why I believe it sits. That's going for 80 price on these went right back up. For whatever reasons, I don't know. $84. There used to be $50-something. So pass on it. Now, this is new. I haven't seen these in the outlet ever, man. What are these, man? Air DSVMs. I thought it was going to say DMVs, but these are the Air DSVMs. I'm not sure what that stands for. Um, somebody Google that for me. I'm too busy vlogging, so go ahead and leave that in the comments. They do got a vapor mask uh, outsole, though. Uh, 129 is the price. They got multiple sizes. Looks comfortable. Now, here's a prime example of prices relapsing, man. This shoe was 79 with 30 off not too long ago. I think it was 89 at Winter Garden. Maybe been here, too. I'm not even sure, man. I can't remember. All these outlets run together sometimes, but I know this shoe was a lot cheaper. It just goes to show different outlets have different prices, man. 129 here. Violin. Or, I'm sorry, Winter Guard, I know I had them for like 89 Now, this is the norm in other outlets as well. $79 for these joints. These are the Air Up Tempos, 95s. Pass me though. And at one point in time, this was $99. Um, now they're back to $159 after the sale. Actually, before the sale, there was one. I'm sorry, before the sale, there was 99 After the sale, they went to 159 Now, here's a prime example of the fake Karachis, right? Karachis, uh, I don't even know what you want to call that. Piece on the side, Nike on the back. And then they also got the audacity to make it in the black, right? Then they also make it like in an off-white color. Now peep this, right? Right to the right of that, you have a real Hirachi, man. Now let's combine the two. Let's compare them, man. You got the strap in the back, that lip. You got the Nike on the back. Look at this. Nike on the back, Nike on the back. You got that fake strap. You got that strap. See what I mean? That's why I call them the fake Hirachis. These are the real Hirachis, man. These going for $60. They have multiple sizes of those. These no one too much care for. They're fifty dollars. There's are actually sixty, and they're again. And this oh, the black one's actually forty dollars if y'all care for it. If you want a real Hirachi, why pay sixty dollars for this Lucent? Why you could pay the same price and get a real Hirachi for sixty dollars? That's just my thoughts, man. That makes sense to me. What about y'all? Uh, Earspan twos. Can't remember if these was here last time I was here. Okay, the Cortez seventy four. The oversized swoosh, scripted swoosh, 74. The Falcons, 55. These are going for 60. These are the Air Max Touch, four for 60. Look at the Joy Rise are dropping in price, $100. Actually, I thought I'm cheaper. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up, hold up. This is what I'm talking about, man. Look at the price, 54.97. The ISPAs. This is worth it, man. This is clearly worth it. Clearly worth it, man. $55 for this shoe. Let's see if they got my size. So they do not have my size, man. They got like six and a half, six and a half, all small sizes. I don't even see an eight. Like all, like, I, they must have just thrown this in the GS section, the women's section, because 
What are we gonna do with this? What are we gonna do with these sizes, man? Six, six and a half, six, six and a half, six and a half. What are we gonna do with these sizes, man? Y'all might as well just throw these in kids, man, and stop playing with us. Y'all put this in the men's section, as in like we have a little bit of hope. Who's wearing uh, shoes this small? Whose foot is this small? That's that's a that's a guy. That's a grown ass man. Anyways, moving on. Elements. More elements, more elements. It says sale for 80. I feel like it's the regular price. That's outlet retail. Um, you got these for 90. Um, I like this colorway. I'll say that every time I see it. These are also going for 80. That's dope colorway. All right, so now we're in the Air Max section. These are Air Max Plus. Both one is going for 80, one's going for 109. I haven't seen this colorway in the outlet. Have I? Yes, I have. I've seen it in the Celebration outlet, which I think video's dropping today. Okay. What I haven't seen are these joints. I have not seen these Air Max Plus Quick Strike in the outlet TM Air. $99, a few sizes left. It's the first time, so that's new. Okay, now my shoe is cooking. Now it's trending in the right direction. These are hitting for $99. There was outlet retail when they came in the outlet and it was there for a good minute. Um, so it's 169 now. Well, I'm sorry, it's coming from 160 to $99. That's the reason why I visit outlets different outlets so frequently man because shoes may not change but the prices does and if you're looking for a particular shoe you know keep checking eventually you'll get to that price that you're willing to pay $99 for the shoe from my childhood would I copy at that price not quite I need to come down a little bit cheaper and then I'll pull the trigger all right you got the what is this the lights Air Max 2 lights for $70 you got a few sizes left and then one of my favorites is these uh, clots for ninety dollars. Folk call the way. They got a few sizes left there. This slimming down. Went for this shoe to go on sale. Those is ninety eight with that. Uh, what color are they call that? Uh, fresh mint. So they got the uh, Neymar Junior joints with the red shocks. I can't remember these. What these was here for last time, but I remember it was not outlet retail though. Or actually, it wasn't retail. It was outlet retail. Now they went back to retail, and these as well. Um, these, is it the damn same shoe? Okay, these are not the white joints. Oh, the white joints is over here. I think these were the norm. It was going for 90 then. Um, I can't I can't remember. Don't quote me on that, but check my other videos. Shoot, I need to go back and check, but these are going for 90. A few sizes left, though. So we're going to give these a hard pass, 129 if y'all want them. Again, I like to report the news, but I'm not going to comment on the shoe that I already spoke trashly about. Um, these are going for 60 sequences. Um, is these more sequins? Yeah. Uh, the pyramids, I call them pyramids because the pyramids in the back, $34 for them. That's the cheapest I have ever seen them. So they went back to $100, man. I remember these flirted around retail shortly uh, before the sale. And then after the sale, they went back. I wasn't sure if it was here. No, it was at the Violent. It was at the Violent outlet, man. These are the uh, Biotechs Air Max 90s, the second iteration of them. There's another colorway similar to this, but the uh, Colors are different, same material, same suede, but just inverted inverted colors. May not be inverted because they may not have purple here um, on the other pair. I don't even think it was purple on the other pair. But anyways, I like these. I got both pairs, this and the other colorway. What are these, 270s for 119 pass for me? Wow, 149 for these. Bro, I wanna say this was not, yo, I'm tripping. Yeah, we might have to go back to my other videos and compare some of these prices because I feel a lot of these have relapsed, man. Uh, but anyways, 27 reacts, uh, 170, 165, and then you got the black joint over there. Let's see if I can zoom in. I uh, just going for 90. Ah, uh, here's a closer look, man. I mean, these are the reacts 270s. I'm just not a fan of material, man. The shoe is cool. I'm sure it's comfortable. I'm just not a fan of the material. The whole midfoot right here. They're going for 90 though. They got a few sizes left. Say where they got these. You already know I bought my pair day one. These are the Jordan 200 SBs. SB stand for South Beach. This released during Super Bowl weekend. Um, I got mine off the Nike website, not even the sneakers. Sneakers didn't even have this joint on there. Only the Nike Plus app did, and that's where I purchased my pair, size 12. Now, they did sell out in my size and smaller sizes. But I guess they're not moving, because clearly it's two returns. There's no lids. Um, there's no discount on the wall, so it looks like you're paying the full retail, which is 120 The shoe wasn't highly expensive. It was actually affordable, man. Definitely cheaper than any uh, Retro Jordan at that price, 120 Only Retro Jordan cheaper than this would be the Lowe's, your Jordan 1 Lowe's. But anyways, I'm not mad at it. I like the box. I already rocked mine like twice already. Uh, I think the second time I rocked it, man, it got crazy dirty. 
my son was stepping all over my shoe, man. So I got I got in my washroom and um, this next up to be clean. I would not rock them again until I clean them, man. But these shoes are fresh. I like them. So they do got the Gatorade PG Force here as well, but it's a size 14 with no additional discounts. I do believe these retail for 120 if I'm not mistaken. I know the price went up a little bit. I'm not sure. Let me see if I got the price on here. Yep, 120 PG Force Gatorade things. So y'all remember these LeBrons? These came out several months ago, 2019. Still in the outlets, man. They're going for 160 I forgot what they actually call these joints, but right next to that is these LeBrons, like the bread colorway. Well, I shouldn't even call it the bread colorway, but uh, the black and red joints. Uh, these going for retail game, both size nine. I like these I ISPAs, man. Bro, it never fails, man. That was not intentional. I didn't even think that was me, but I'm gonna be a good Samaritan and I'm gonna pick them up. Then I'm getting out of here. <laughs> All right, stay, stay. And before I leave, man, we'll take a look at these uh, mocks, these Fair God mocks, 419, same price, multiple different sizes. Someone told me, actually someone at Nike, he said they did a sole swap from this shoe to the other Fair God uh, Skylons. Now, I don't know what that looked like. I can Google that. Let me know if that's a real thing. But I think that's what he told me, man. So people are buying these shoes and uh, sole swapping them. All right, y'all, it is a wrap for this Nike Outlet vlog. Um, talk to a few people in there, man. Salute to all y'all. Thank you for supporting the channel. Um, I'll be back, obviously. I live here. But uh, anyways, if you're new to the channel, like what you just saw, go ahead, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. Everyone, leave your comments down below. Your boy, get back to you as soon as possible. Until then, until we meet again, you already know my slogan. It's a wrap. Peace.